the thing is needed like first there is a boundary which is the exit plane the refractive index for y greater than 0 y greater than 0 is 2 while for y less than 0 it will be this one so this will be y axis I will take it the refractive index of this is 2 y less than then okay sorry this will be root 5 by 2 mu 1 let this be 2 now the ray is incident undergo refraction okay fine we have to calculate the sine theta 1 uh, we know uh, this is the unit vector. So, how to calculate the unit vector? Sin theta 1 is needed. First, we will calculate the vector here, unit vector along the front. So, i cap minus 2 j cap by root 5. This is the unit vector. Vector by magnitude will be unit vector. Cos theta 1 is equal to this is a vector no? g cap by mod of a I think let me read. Yeah, fine, fine. This will be a bar minus a a bar a bar. This will be vector by its magnitude will be unit vector. Vector it is. So, unit vector will be given by this particular thing. Vector by its magnitude will be unit vector. So, angle made by this with y axis is needed. So, I will take the this particular form. So, this will become i cap minus 2 j cap dot j cap mod of this will be root 5. Mod of unit vector will be 1. Magnitude of unit vector will be 1. So, solving this, i dot j, so minus 2 by root 5 will come. This is cos theta 1. So, what is sin theta 1? So 1 by root 5. So, applying the Snell's law, mu 1 sin theta 1 is equal to mu 2 sin theta 2. Mu 1 is how much 2? Sin theta 1 is 1 by root 5. Mu 2 is how much? Root 5 by 2 sin theta 2. So sin theta 2 equal to 4 by 5 which is nothing but theta 2 53 degrees. So now you should can find the unit vector along with the refracted ray moves. So what is R cap? R cap is equal to sin 53 degrees high cap minus cos 53 degrees G cap. So 4 I cap by 5 minus 3 j cap by 5. So, this is a unit vector along which 
diffracted ray will be